Hi there, everybody. Welcome back to part four of this week's episode of Leading Our Own Way. We're getting into some valuable insights from this week's guests that you can definitely apply to your own journey. Please definitely stay tuned for advice and inspiration that can help us all. If you missed the first part of the week in part one, two, and three, definitely go back. The show notes should be filled with all the links, so go and click on them if you need to catch up. Also, definitely subscribe to the channel and all the other ones if you can. It's going to really help the show. But for now, enjoy the rest of the story. Those people that have that were that were rolling their eyes, um, you wanted you know to to show them how how wrong they were. Yeah, my Good. mentality is not that anymore. It's to prove myself right. It's not to prove yeah. everybody else wrong. But yeah, for yeah, them, yeah, 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 yeah. There, there was a balance probably back then. There was probably I want to prove you wrong, but I need to do it for me because I want to experience that too. Yeah. Would the um, the seeking approval, if that wasn't there, would it be quicker? Probably. Definitely. Cool. 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 I would, so have, now I, would this... have, I would have traveled before the age of 24. I would have considered that to be late. Nice. So what I want you to do now is I want you to see from this new decision what life could look like and the opportunities would look like. My career probably would have started earlier. Good. Not that I'm worried about starting careers young. I think you do it whenever you, is best for mm -hmm. you. But I definitely mm -hmm. would have traveled earlier. I probably would have traveled more and further afield. There's always constraints with that, things like money. Mm -hmm. That was a big issue when I was traveling. But somehow we made it work from the help of my mom, which was amazing. Yep. Um, but I definitely would have done it sooner. Mm -hmm. um, cool. I would have got back sooner. Or maybe it would have gone longer. And maybe it would have created other opportunities for me. Who knows? Mm -hmm. Not that my opportunity. I want you to see further than that. I want you to see further than today as well. What this new opportunity, this new decision, sorry. Mm -hmm. What would life would this look like with this new decision look like? Further than today. How much faster and quicker now are your decisions into getting what you want out of life? And life has asked you to make a choice. What would you like to go and would you like to go and live your old timeline in that old decision on your left hand side? Or would you like to remain on this, in this new decision? I don't have any regrets. Mm -hmm. I mean, do you want me to tell you what I would have wanted to have done? No, no. I just want to know which decision that you want to go through. This new decision, life without wanting to seek approval. I mean, I would or have, the old decision. I, I don't think I would have changed everything, anything that I've done, but I would definitely mm -hmm. would like to get rid of the seeking approval for sure. Good. And which which universe would you like to live in? That one. Which, the new timeline with this new decision? The one without seeking approval. Good. Yes. Good. Good. So what I want you to do is I want you to go in to this new timeline with this new decision. And I want you to see these opportunities now that you, that now that you have. And I want you to lock yourself in. You know the, the, the sound of Tupperware makes when it clicks? Mm. Click. I want you to lock that in. And I want you to see now that in this opportunity, this new universe that you're in, this new timeline, and I want you to look ahead and see what's in store for you, how much you can work and flow, how easy it is without needing to seek approval, the opportunities, the joy, the speed that you're able to move at, the lack of confusion, the lack of fear. I have thought of something else that's been a big problem in my life. Yep. Guilt. Guilt. That's okay. That's okay. We'll, we'll do guilt maybe in another show, <laughs> in another episode. We usually work off one, yeah, sure. one emotion at a time. Yeah. But this is, this is also good news because it means that your subconscious is 
telling you things. <laughs> it's just like, hey, don't forget this, don't forget that. Yeah, so it, this is really good. It's come to me, but it's something that's always probably deep inside of me every day since moving here. Okay, good, mm -hmm. good. Which good. brings out fear, though. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I wonder if we remove fear. If usually, sometimes when we remove fear, sometimes it lowers all the other emotions as well. I think. But let's see how we go. Yeah, I think yeah. you probably would. Cool. Andy, what is the highest trait? What is the the trait that you love and consider about yourself? My connection ability, like my love for connection. Good. Good. In your timeline, a wise man pops in, in your timeline. He looks so familiar. In fact, he looks a lot like you, but with a beard. He's the wisest man in the universe. He knows the answers to all. He's rubbing his beard and he says, hey, Andy, I want to see, I want to show you something. Something that you may not have considered in the past. And you're pretty curious to, to know what he, what, he, what he actually wants to, to tell you. Because it could be a pivotal moment for you. And he says, this trait of connectivity that you have in your life. Do you love having it? I really love it. Good. Good. How do you think that you received this gift of being able to connect with people? Where was the, what was the benefit of that moment of when you were 15? Of you going through this? And he pauses. And you're probably thinking there's no benefit. And he says to you, Andy, just like there is winter, there is summer. Just like there is morning, there is night. Just like there is black, there is right, there, there is white. There's like there is left, there is right, up and down. We live in a world of polarity. And just like there are drawbacks, perceived drawbacks, there are benefits. What was the benefit to you in that event or in that moment? And how did it connect with you to having this gift of being able to connect? Are we talking about the event at fifth, when I was 15, I was going through that yeah. confusion time mm -hmm. with the, the event of basketball? Uh, 15. 15. Mm -hmm. Could you say the question again? I'm trying, to, That's okay. I'm trying to put the two together. That's okay. What was the benefit to you? Connection. In how event. did connection benefit me? How did that moment bring you the gift and the trait of you having connection, having that trait of connection today. I'm unsure if that brought me that benefit though of connection. Does that make sense? It does. It may not some it may not be something that you that you can see, but let's get there. Okay. What were you lacking in that moment? Confidence. Good. Was it also because of a lack of connection from others? I was in an atmosphere where I didn't, I didn't know, I didn't, I didn't grow up with these. Whereas I left the others that I did grow up with to pursue a different basketball era, and mm -hmm. um, probably knew deep down inside they were they were better than me. Mm -hmm. But I knew so it. how did you know connection was so important to you? Basketball brought the connection out of me years before. 
I was a shy kid. Mm -hmm. And if somebody had said to me, you're going to be a teacher when you're older, I probably, probably would have laughed at them. Mm -hmm. But basketball and the fact that I could probably run fast allowed me to have the confidence and the ability to, uh, maybe to connect. I don't know where it came from before that. It, it may have come from somewhere before that. But I don't know. That's okay. How did this moment reiterate your love for connection? I don't think it did. Okay. It just knocked a lot of confidence out of me and maybe questioned mm -hmm. whether I should, I should continue to play basketball there. Mm -hmm. If that makes any sense. Yeah. What, so what void did you have within that moment? Um, sense of belonging. Good. Is there a light bulb moment there? A little bit. I decided maybe a year later to, to not play. And I decided to go into coaching. I, so I, if someone has a void of belonging, what will then, what will they now value? Say that again. If a person has a void of belonging, what will they now value? Connection. <laughs> I've got a million things going through my head. Okay, mate, that's okay. This is this is this is how this is hard because what your brain's doing and it feels like your brain is scrambled. It feels like fried eggs. I know what you're feeling. I've never felt so full yet empty. Yes. It's, right. I can't it's a, it's it. a weird feeling. And the people at home, they don't know what Andrew, what Andrew's feeling and going through, <laughs> but his head feels like scrambled eggs. I'm so what I'm doing is your, your brain is rewiring itself. I can, I feel like I can feel it happening. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been so confused about my own life. Yeah. Yeah. No, really. Cool. Yeah. So the benefit from that moment and the traits that you have that you totally admire about yourself, what, like that was the benefit that within that benefit, you were able to value the connection that you've got now. And without that time, without that incident, without that event, you wouldn't have been able to have this gift of connection. Yeah. And you can think about all the other times in your life that you perceive are drawbacks. But on the flip side, on the opposite end, the flip side of the coin, there is always a benefit. You are so highly resilient today. I mean... Something's just hit me again. I, <laughs> I went back. I, I don't know if I'm, I'm supposed to share this part, but I, I, is it okay that I do? Of course you do. Yeah. yeah. It's your show. <laughs> well, I feel like it's yours. <laughs> I, I, um, I got dropped and I went back to my old place and I did, um, I went into coaching, but I felt I was too young to coach. So I went back to play for the club that dropped me. And I kind of revisited the feelings that I had maybe two or three years before mm -hmm. at, at um, 19, 18, 19. Right. Uh, and I, I, I entered the world again where I've probably felt the same lack of confidence. Mm -hmm. um, they didn't really know how to pull the best out of me. So I felt like the last one on that, on that squad. And yep. yeah, they weren't the, there wasn't the most inviting, even though, I still, yeah, I'm still, still see, I still see them sometimes when I go home and they're cool yeah. people. I just, at that moment in time, I wasn't probably one of those, mm -hmm. you know, one of the, wasn't the, one of the boys there. So I felt out of place. Yep. Yeah. Cool. Even though I just achieved, I became the youngest coach the year before to make it to the national finals. So I was buzzing and I was confident, but I decided to quit to go back to play because I felt I was too young to do that. Uh -huh. 
but had achieved something amazing. But it wasn't enough. Probably should have stuck at the coaching. <laughs> cool. But then came out here a few years later to play and get involved with someone. But as a, nice. as a consistent coach there. So that built nice. my confidence up again. Beautiful. Thanks for sharing, brother. I don't know if that was important. That's okay. That's okay. I mean, everything is. Everything is a piece of the puzzle, right? Yeah. But again, all of that was not even part of the six events. That cool. Were <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sorry. That's okay. No, no. This is good. It's this is this is good for you. Okay. So I want you to go back to when you're 15 in the new timeline in you in your new decision. And I want you to look towards now. Now, where is the fear? Is it there? Is it gone now? From that moment on, from when you're 15 all the way up to now, is the fear there? Is it gone now from those events? It's gone. Are you sure? I want you to go into those first six. And I want you to drop in and just see if the fear is there. Is it gone now? It's gone. Wow. Can you check all of them? Mm. Probably the one most recent. It's probably still a little bit there. Is it fear or is it hurt? Hurt. Good. Is fear gone? Yeah. It was it, it, it was before this conversation I reckon on the on the on a few on on a few of them. Cool. Nice. Cool. So what I want you what I want you to do is I want you to go back to when you're 15. Mm -hmm. And I want you to float all the way to now. Letting go of all the fear. And the fear that you've been carrying has been heavy. Because you've been carrying it like armor. Armor to protect yourself. And as you're floating more and more towards now, you're getting lighter and lighter. Lighter without the armor. You can float, you can spin around, you can do all these flips. You can float faster and fly faster. All the way to now. All the way faster and faster. And what you're realizing is that as you're looking down in those past events, they look different. The perception of those events are different. It was all a misunderstanding. The way that you looked at it is now completely different to the way you're looking at it now. And as you're looking up into your future, it's looking so much more brighter without the need for approval. It's so flowing and it's so easy that you are in control. And knowing that you are in control, you've got the world at your hands. And it's so exciting. And you're moving faster and faster towards now because you're getting so excited to get here and live this new decision, this new life. Faster and faster, getting lighter and lighter without fear, with more courage, deciding quickly, living your best life. And when you're ready, I want you to come back into the room don't open your eyes yet. I want you to float back into your body. I want you to start wiggling your toes, wiggling your fingers. And when you're ready, you can open your eyes. <laughs> oh, my God. Join us tomorrow to hear more from today's incredible guests and learn valuable insights to help you lead your own way. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you then.